Hope, British Columbia. It's where we call home. With 6,000 people and growing, Hope's known for its rugged mountains, wood carvings, and this guy. All roads lead to Hope, they say, and I'm gonna show you around our town. So this is Memorial Park. This park is in the dead center of Hope, British Columbia. It's where a lot of tourists come and it's just a beautiful, beautiful park with a lot of really old growth trees. Look at the size of this tree. You can almost not get it in shot. There's tons of them down here. This is a really beautiful park. Hope's really lucky to have something like this. Hope's got a lot of beautiful and wood carvings too. In Memorial Park every year, they actually do a chainsaw carving. And when they have that this year, we'll bring you guys along for that. Cause it's a lot of fun. It's a place where you can actually watch them uh, and make some of their carvings. And they'll have ones for sale too. What's nice is that they're all so different. This is a big dragon. The detail is pretty incredible but there's some that are just absolutely amazing. Very unique one. It's got a lion on top with maybe a deer and then a goat or bighorn sheep maybe. With a big eagle on the back. Now this guy, camera's definitely not gonna do it justice but massive. This is one of my favorites. It's a big Sasquatch bench. The carver's Pete Ryan. Unfortunately, he passed away a couple years ago, but a lot of this art is from him. He lived in hope. They actually just re-varnished this one this year. There was another one over here. I'm not so sure what's happened to it, but they get weathered. And this is one of the newest pieces here in hope. This is the sheriff that was after Rambo. We were here for the unveiling. Incredibly done. If I remember right, I think his kids were here. But so well done. Funny how I feel so much like a tourist walking around with my camera in my own hometown, but just wanted to share this video with you guys and just show you where we live and why we chose Hope as our town. Some more of my favorite pieces. Unfortunately, this one sat storage for probably about two years before they put it down here by the Fraser River. It's really low this year. Uh, during and usually early spring and late fall, the water will be all the way up to that island there. And sometimes that island will be completely underwater. So it kind of shows just how much rain can cause this already huge river just to just be so massive. And 
unfortunately, it's a lot of volunteers that do all the upkeep. And of course, you know, if you don't have money, then it's hard. Because some of these are definitely getting very old and would take a lot of work to kind of bring them back in their glory, but it's uh, definitely worth it. Hope is definitely a tourist town. In the winter, uh, it's dead, dead as could be, which is kind of nice because once summertime hits, like I said in the intro, all roads lead to Hope. So this is where people will stop and uh, grab something to eat, do a little bit of shopping. It's a great place too for people with, and you know, motorcycles to, to drive to, or there's lots of dirt biking, ATB, off-roading in the area. Some of you guys might be curious on why are you showing us a video of you walking around your town? That's not overlanding. Well, this is what you got to do when uh, your truck is in this shop. And unfortunately, it is done. I just couldn't get to it in time. Uh, it closed on Thursday. Um, but because I know this is an overlanding channel, and I know a lot of you guys are here because, you know, you too have a GMC. So I just want to share with you guys just what happened. Uh, so maybe, you know, you could be you could be prepared if this ever happens to you or if it does and you know what's wrong with it. Uh, so the video that we hiked to that abandoned cabin in the woods that was basically untouched, uh, just unfortunately falling apart. On the way back, uh, we stopped and grabbed uh, some pizza. And while we we're waiting for our order, I went to turn the truck on and our truck starts really easily. And uh, it didn't this time. So I tried again and unfortunately it didn't start. So on the third attempt, I let it turn over probably about four or five times and it did start up. Uh, it was idling fine, but as soon as I, you know, try to put it in gear and give it some gas, it wanted to quit. So I just sat for a few minutes, tried again, it turned on, but I couldn't even make it out of the parking lot. Uh, let alone get it home. Now luckily I was in Hope, so it wasn't going to be a far walk or a far tow. But when I tried to accelerate, it would just misfire and backfiring like crazy. It would die and uh, would not stay running. While all this was happening, a code came up. I plugged in my little scanner and it came up a cranks, crank position sensor. So I tried clearing the code, hoping that would help. And luckily it was drivable enough that I could get it home. Uh, once I got it home, obviously I went on the uh, in University of YouTube and after watching a few videos, hearing you know what other people were experiencing, uh, I determined that most likely it was a crank sensor, uh, a crank position sensor. Uh, so, Immediately after that, I called Lorico. They said they would have it in uh, the following day by 1.30. Uh, with my four-wheel drive discount, it came to about $91, which I thought was pretty reasonable. Now, the sensor is behind the starter, and I replaced the starter about two years ago, so I was pretty confident that this would be an easy fix. I uh, got the starter out. Unfortunately, that took probably about three or four hours. I don't know if I maybe ran the wires slightly different, but it was hell, to be honest, trying to get that starter out of the way so I can get behind it to the sensor. Once I did, got the sensor out, put everything back together, and I knew that most likely I was going to have to take it to the shop uh, because I guess that sensor will need to be in reprogrammed or relearned, I think is the correct term. Um, but. I just wanted to hear it run and knowing that everything was good. Well, unfortunately it just turned over and it would not start. So later on that day, I used a Tynan's truck and we towed it down to the local shop. Um, and they were able to get it in the following day. Um, but because it's the long weekend here, um, I just was away and I couldn't get back in time before they left. And they left a little early on Thursday. So uh, that's what's going on with the truck. Um, I still haven't heard what they had to do. They just called me and said the truck was ready, but unfortunately by that time they were closed before I got the message. So I don't know what they did. 
um, but once I find out and I pick the truck up on Tuesday I'll make an update video just to let you guys know maybe I'll include that in a different video um, but I will let you guys know what they did and maybe what I did wrong so uh, just wanted to share that with you guys and kind of explain why I'm doing what I'm doing you know the most important thing with YouTube sorry there's kids uh, playing in the park here uh, with YouTube one of the most important things is to put out content as much as possible not every video is going to be some super epic show and uh, that's just the way it is sometime but uh, when you're a beginner YouTube and your content you know has small amount of subscribers small amount of views uh, key is just to keep pumping out the content so that's why I did this and today uh, you guys will see this video after the mine explorer video so it will be a few days uh, by the time you guys probably see this video I should have my truck back which will be good and we can get back into uh, into the regular content so just wanted to share that with you guys well guys that's our video today like I said short and sweet nothing too special I know a lot of you won't watch it but that's okay uh, to those of you who do thank you so much to all of our new subscribers appreciate you uh, and taking a chance on our channel and hitting that subscribe button it means a lot so until next time guys uh, keep safe and we'll see you in the next venture bye bye